Can I just be brutally honest and tell you a little secret when it comes to creating content? The truth is, is that it doesn't have to be a super difficult process. I get asked a lot of times, what's the best camera and the best editing platform for creating content, especially for the internet. And the truth is, is that you can do everything you need to with just the phone that's in your pocket. So today I want to walk you through my personal approach when it comes to creating content, specifically on the phone, because this is by far my favorite way to do it. And I wanted to do everything using one of my favorite editing apps, Canva. I know it's easy to get trapped down the rabbit hole that is swiping through awesome pieces of content that other people have made. And then when it comes time to create your own content, you're completely stuck. And this is definitely a huge hurdle that many people, myself included, have to overcome. But I'm gonna help you actually overcome this hurdle today. And it's really quite simple because the truth is, is that the answer is actually right in front of you. You just gotta know where to look. So let's go ahead and hop into Canva. And once we get into the app, one of my favorite pages, and it sits right there on the bottom section, and that is the template section. Now, this is where we're actually gonna solve our biggest hurdle, and that is coming up with what we want to create. So many times I know I need to make a video, but I'm not 100% sure what I want that reel to look like, what I want it to feature, or really how this content is supposed to come together. And by going through the templates, this actually makes your job so much easier. It allows you to scroll through, see different templates, see what looks good, see what actually catches your eye, because most likely whatever catches your eye is gonna catch somebody else's, but it also gives you a fantastic starting point when it comes to making something. So now you're not having to come up with an idea completely from scratch. So I'm actually gonna go through my templates here and you can actually see that they'll show you things like stuff that's new to Canva or stuff that's trending or stuff that's inspired by something else that you've made in the past. So that's actually a place that I like to start. I like to start with things that already were inspired based off things I've done before because it means that it's gonna be a template that's probably very similar to my previous styles. Now, once you tap on a certain template, you'll notice that it opens up and down at the bottom, you have basically the entire video timeline already pre-created. And there's a couple of nice things about this. For starters, it lets you know exactly how many clips you're gonna need, which means if you don't have enough clips, you can go out and capture the exact amount that you need. But also things like text and animations have already been applied, which are just gonna help enhance the video overall. However, I'm actually gonna teach you guys a couple additional secrets beyond just what this template can offer that will actually allow you to sort of enhance your video a little bit more, make it a little bit more personal, more creative, and really give it that extra little spice it needs in order to really stand out online. Now for this project, I'm actually going to be cutting together a short little promo video that highlights a local photography studio based here in Houston, Texas, where I'm from. So I already have actually shot a lot of this content from my phone, so it's already stored in my camera roll. Now looking at my first frame here, you'll notice that if I actually tap on the video, which is in the background, there's a nice little button at the bottom down here that says replace. And this will actually allow me to replace this clip with any video that's already on my phone. Now I can choose to use assets from my camera roll. You also can go directly into Canva's own library of content, either going through adding photos from their entire photo library, videos from their video library as well, and then they specifically have things that work better as backgrounds. And so you can find all these down at the bottom. But I'm actually gonna go into my camera roll and I'm gonna start selecting assets from here. Now, going through my camera roll, I wanna get a nice establishing shot to start the entire video off. And I think this one here is great. So this allows me to kind of get my first step into my video and you can see it's already replaced that clip and added it to the timeline. Now, I'm just gonna go through the process and add in all of my additional clips that I want to add to this video. All right, so now I've actually gone through and I've added all my clips to the timeline. And if I hit this play button, this will actually allow me to see it play back with the current timeline as is. Now you'll notice that as I play this back, there's still a bunch of text on here that isn't actually have to do with my specific video. These are just texts that have been added on because of the template, but I'm actually gonna go through and manually adjust all of these as well in order to get it to a place that's a little bit more in tune with what I'm looking for. 
So for example, here on this very first frame, I wanted to open up with a text that actually speaks directly to the studio that we are making this video for. So all I have to do is tap on the text and you'll see that I can drag it around, but I can also just go ahead and choose to actually edit it. And down here at the bottom, there's an edit button and I can type in whatever I need this to say. So here I'm actually gonna have this say studio and I can drag this and use my guides in order to make sure that everything is nice and centered. Up here for this one, I'm gonna have it say the name of the studio. So in this case, it's called The Lumen Room. And you'll notice that it did drop it down into two texts, but I can just go here to font size on the bottom and actually adjust the font size of this here so that way it fits into one screen. And I can also tap here and drag it out if I wanna make that font size a little bit bigger without it dropping to the next line over. Perfect, so now my opening clip looks more like this. Perfect, so now what I would do typically is I would go through and I would adjust all my text for each of these individual clips. So that way I can go ahead and get this thing looking and reading the way I wanted to for my final video. So now I actually have my entire video looking roughly about the way that I wanted to. I have all of my clips sort of in the right order. I have the text on screen the way it needs to be. And it's starting to feel like it's way more put together with my nice call to action at the end that says book your session. This is a great place to start and you can absolutely upload your video just like this because this is what the template gave us. However, I personally think that it's great to add your own little extra flair to the video. And to me, every video can absolutely benefit from adding music. Now you can add tons of different assets to this video. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that starting with sounds. So if I actually tap on the plus key in the bottom right, you'll notice that at the very bottom, there are tons of different things that you can add to your video, like elements, more text, stuff from your camera roll, you can draw. But in this case, I'm actually gonna go into audio. Now you'll notice that a lot of the music on here and sound effects are tied to their pro plan. However, if you do have your own music that you wanna add to this video, you can absolutely do that as well. If you just swipe over to where it says uploads, you can tap on that and then you'll notice that you have your images, video, and audio tab. And underneath audio is where you can choose to upload audio files that have been saved to your phone or download it from a website to your files app and actually add that to this video itself. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do in this case. But as I mentioned before, if you don't have your own music, Canva can offer you music directly within the app itself. Now, the nice thing about the audio is you can do a lot of adjusting when it comes to actually adding music to this. And that's exactly what I'm gonna start here. So you'll notice at the very bottom, you have quite a few effects. And one of the first ones that I actually like to adjust is the actual adjust tab. And if you go into the adjust, this is gonna allow you to sort of slide your track around. So that way you are only having the music start exactly where you want it to for your edit. And you can just hit the play button to play it back and listen to it and see if it's exactly where you want it. Awesome. Now there's another nice little effect that you can do here. And it's probably one of the most crucial ones, especially if you're someone who likes to edit to the beat of the music. Instead of having to manually do that, you can use Beat Sync. And that will actually not only allow you to automatically have your clips cut to the beat, but you can also just have it to where it'll showcase markers. So that way you can manually move your video around in order to match to the beat of the music. All you have to do is tap on Beat Sync and then you'll see you have individual sliders both for the sync now as well as the display beat marker. Now, one thing to mention that the sync now is a pro feature. However, I will have a special offer for you guys later on if you wanna check out the pro feature for yourself. And of course, that'll be linked down below in the description. All right, so this is looking really good. However, there are a few additional things I wanna add. So as I mentioned earlier, you can add in some sound effects. And so right here where I have this section where it, the girl is actually taking some photos, I would like to add in some camera shutter sounds. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and slide over here. I'm gonna hit my plus key. So that way it can be associated with this clip. And I'm gonna go over to audio and I'm gonna add in a camera shutter. Now I have mine already saved, but you could just go up here into the search and type in camera, Q. 
camera shutter. And you'll see that there are quite a few different versions that you can actually go with, which is one of the nice things that I like about Canva. And one of the reasons why it's one of my go-to favorite apps is because it just gives you so many different options. Now, there are a few things that we can also do to help spice this video up. For starters, we can add transitions in between the clips. So in between any clip, you'll see there's a nice little plus. You can tap on that plus, hit transition, and then you can choose from a ton of different options. Now, I personally find that less can be more. Uh, so something as simple as a color wipe or just a simple dissolve works really well. And if you want to apply this same effect across all of the clips, then there's a nice little check button there for you as well. Now, full transparency, I do think that the end of this video is looking pretty good, but I think that we can actually enhance it a little bit more, but a slightly better in screen so i'm actually going to hit this plus and now i'm working on a completely blank screen but that's okay we're going to easily add some new elements to this without having to do a whole lot of extra work so i'm going to just simply hit my plus button and i'm going to add some new elements to this in screen now this is actually one of my favorite features and one that I'm really happy that has been implemented into Canva, and that is some AI image generators. Now, if you go to elements, you can scroll down and you'll see that you have the option to generate your own image. Now, once your text to image generator screen pops up, you'll have a couple different options. The more detailed you can be, the better your results will be, and that at least that's been my experience. But in this case, I'm actually gonna keep it pretty simple because I really wanna see what the AI can do. Now, the company that I'm creating this video for, their mascot is a peacock. So I wanna actually have a peacock be the main focus of my end screen. And now I will go ahead and say, create your image. We'll give the AI a few moments to do its thing. Wow, and this looks really good already. So I can actually choose from any of these, or if I want to make adjustments, I can just tap on the three little dots you can see here at the top right of each image. Doing this will allow the tool to generate more images based on the one you tap. However, I think that these actually turned out really good. And this one here in the bottom left corner, I like this one probably the most. So I'm gonna tap on this one, and I'm gonna go ahead and size this up to fully fill out the entire screen. There we go. So now that I actually have this selected, you'll notice that I still get all of my photo effects as I normally would. So I can apply filters to it, I can apply effects, I can make adjustments, even do animations. If I hop into effects, you'll see that I get all of my amazing Canva photo effects, including the background remover. So I can easily just tap background remover and you'll see that now it'll actually remove the background from this AI generated image. Now there are a few other AI tools here. Like for example, you have the magic eraser as well as the magic editor, which is currently still in beta at the time of making this video. However, you can absolutely play around with these in order to get the best image possible for you. But in my case, I actually like the background remover because I'm gonna wanna put a different type of background on this image. Now you can choose to go in and make as many additional adjustments as you like to. But at this point, I'm starting to feel like we have a nice little video. The entire thing is sort of cut to the music, as well as we have sound effects, we have transitions. And of course, when it comes to making this video, you can get as involved as you like, make as many additional changes as you want. However, I'm gonna actually go ahead and play this thing back, see what it looks like, and then I'll probably be done. But there you have it. You don't have to work that hard when it comes to creating content. You can absolutely do it with the tool that's already in your pocket. You can absolutely download Canva right now and check it out for yourself absolutely free. And if you wanna be able to take advantage of that pro feature that I mentioned earlier, then you should definitely check out my link down below because I have a 45 day offer for you to be able to check out Canva Pro for yourself. So check that out. Let me know what you guys want me to cover in a future video. Also, thank you to all the members of the Creative Fam Academy who help make videos like this possible. If you want to help support the channel, definitely check out the links for that as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.